All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. What a pleasant morning it has been. Uh, this is uh, Beyond Charts uh, coming in with the Market Pulse, finding out what's cooking, what's cooking today. So are we sharing screens today? Uh, yeah, we are. Okay, perfect. All right. So welcome aboard. And there's a lot to cover here. So I've just been looking at the XPX here. A nice, nice reversal. Uh, but that's not what I want to show you. I want to go back here. All right, so let's start off with the uh, with the update. So, from this morning, the markets are trying to rally. So we're trying to get a bounce here. As I said this morning in the morning brew, if you haven't caught that, make sure to go out there and subscribe. We'll be morning brew past live. We went live this morning, uh, but check that out. A lot of those trades set up. Not all of them. We're waiting on a few still. So. Uh, XPX, NDX, Russell. This is the daily charts. Remember, we're just kind of giving you a market sentiment for the afternoon as well. Uh, this afternoon, we need it to bounce. So this 4,700 is going to be strong. It's going to be strong, strong, strong. So here's the dealio. If we don't break that 4,700, uh, we're probably be looking. That's going to be very, very strong. We can probably work our way lower. MACDs are going lower, so if we don't break that 4,700, I'm looking at a negative output for Friday. Remember, Friday's a short day, um, <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see, okay? That's what I'm looking at the daily perspective. NASDAQ looks good. Uh, again, it, it seems to bounce. It's holding that level right there. Uh, and on XPX, by the way, it's holding that 4,650. As we suggested, it was good. Uh, Apple's holding strong, so that's what Apple can go. Apple's can go, but if Apple goes, and we're going to dive into it, I'm going to see how we're going to put everything together. NASDAQ trying to rally, uh, needs above 16.424 to get better, but it's looking good. We're still a little weak here, okay? So it's still looking weak on the, on the, Russell looks stronger, trying to bounce, trying to bounce, holding that 50 day moving average at 2300. A lot of buyers coming in there. Let's see if it can hold that. All right, let's look at the VIX. VIX uh, came off the highs of 20. Remember, if we're going to rally, we need below 19. We actually need closer to 18, right? So there's still fear up there. There's still the same amount of fear there was yesterday. Uh, if it diminishes, then we're probably going to go higher, right? If we can break below, if we can go lower, then we go higher. But if we go, if the VIX stays in this area, there's still fear. Are people going to hold with a day off tomorrow, going into Friday, a short Friday, and then the weekend? So technically, it'll be all one, two, three, four days. Um, are they feeling optimistic about that? You tell me. So that's 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 the thought. You gotta ask yourself questions, and uh, you know what are the what are, what is the price action telling you? Um, again, uh, Treasury notes. We're holding below that one six nine. Gotta watch that. I have my alert up there. But let's dive in. Let's dive in. Let's find out where the opportunities were today. So today, uh, the markets rallied back up to the 50, right? We thought we were gonna, it, it worked out lower. Buyers came in at that 46.50 area, and they drove it back up. MACD still told you there was gonna, it was still climbing, climbing. We're coming to the end. Now, what does this mean here at the end? Now, by the way, 2 p.m., so roughly less than two hours, or two hours exactly, we're going to have the Fed minutes come out. So will that move the markets? Uh, possibly, right? I think that the market uh, understands it just, I don't know, for some reason they think that the taper is going to come sooner than what they say. If that's something that's not priced in, it's probably going to go lower. If they have any, any indication that they're going to raise interest rates, even though Powell said no, then that will probably affect the market. So anything that will spook the markets in the minutes, that will probably... We're going to be watching that, and I think that's why we're probably not breaking above 4,700. So watch 4,700, watch with those minutes, and I think it's probably going to happen probably end of the after two. It can go either way. All right, NASDAQ holding steady. Uh, again, holding where we sold off at the end of day yesterday. Uh, MACD is still working higher. Uh, we're right there. We're, we're right there. It's either or. Um, so... Uh, Russell B lined it to the 50. Um, again, what's going to happen there? So we got this 2331. Uh, NASDAQ 16425. And then we got that 4700 on the XPX. Alphabet having an inside day looking good. I like this divergence here. It looks like it, if, if the news is positive, I think Google will explode. It's probably going to explode. Uh, 2924. Let's say 29.20 to make it better. 
and 29.36, it can probably rally, okay? But again, we're at the mercy of that 2, 2 p.m. Amazon, looking better, right? Looking better. There was an entry here on our, you know, off the 50. Uh, hubs just went up. Okay, we got alerts there. We love those alerts, by the way, uh, trading view. But we got this alert here. So again, uh, going down to the 50, bounce right here, bounce up to zero. An entry at 25.72. And you got uh, 3600. It's uh, you know trying to go. The highest we went up was 3614. I told you 3621 is really gonna get going. It looks like it still wants to crack there. So if you took that trade, congratulations. But uh, I will probably look to you know uh, either roll up or lock in those gains and wait to the two o'clock hour. All right. Tesla rallied up. So again, same divergence here. Okay. I thought this was gonna go lower. Uh, but no, I guess the 100 point move was enough and they're going to take it back up. So this uh, 1120 area, it's holding pretty strong. So it tried to go. We're above the 50. Can it get a second win? Bounce, bounce higher or is it going to go lower? But uh, again, MACD's right there. You know, you had a little play there, you know, not ideal to where we like it. Not more like this one, but still looks good. Let's see if they take it back up to 1160 or 1180, right? So let's see. All depend on that two o'clock hour. All right, ISRG, they're they're taking it up. Uh, again, first time it broke the 50 for the last four or five days. So that's different. It's different, right? People are being optimistic, but volume is still pretty low. Chipotle. First time it broke to 50 for like two weeks, so that's positive. We'll be setting this one up soon, right? Soon. So it looks like a base, and we've we'll, we'll got these numbers here. I, I have no trade here because uh, I want to see money coming back in. Remember, money doesn't come in only, only one day. It takes a couple of days, right, to really, really get it going. All right, land research. Uh, still at that high. Is this thing wants to go. I think watch this one. If it takes out that 661, it's really going to get going. It wants to go. They're holding this one up. This is the one if the market decides to turn green that this is going to go fly. Um, Shopify. Okay, we got alerted on this one today. Um, you know, got alerted on a lot. Like, here are my alerts, right? No, not this one. Here are my alerts. All these alerts. I got alerted today. Um, so another reason to have uh, um, TradingView. They have beautiful alert system. But... Uh, right here. So I told you it was squeezing. What's going to happen this morning? Shopify came up early and uh, again, bounce off to zero or close to zero. New fresh set of MACDs starting the momentum swing right at the 50. So you had an entry right around that 1585. I told you it was going to head up to 1700. And by the way, it broke here 6616. They got it going and uh, is chugging away. Next level up is going to be that 1700. So uh, again, if you're in that trade, manage your position. You're probably up nice. So again, uh, two o'clock can change everything, guys. So it's up to you how you manage that position. Are you gonna lock in gains, roll it up? And again, remember I told you in the beginning of, of this video, I said, uh, you know, are people optimistic of holding over basically four days? We'll see. If it is, it's going to go. It's going to go. But we'll watch it. Netflix tried to go. Having an inside day. Uh, great. Let, let this set up. Let this set up. So, again, not really a play here. You know, claim to the 50. But, you know, have an inside day. That's good. Let it have an inside day. The markets haven't really given me a direction. They haven't been above the 50. So, it's you have to pick and choose your winners here, okay? You can't just trade just to trade. I uh, gotta have some conviction by now. I want to remember we I we like to ride the waves with the big guys. I don't like to ride little waves. That's not really, you know. We want to make money here, so we're looking for the strong conviction buys. Roku. We thought this was gonna go lower. Um, they're not taking it lower. They're taking it up. So the divergence came through. So this is what I mean. This is going lower, and the MACDs are going higher. So they're building a position. Okay, cool. But no real strong conviction on the upside yet. So let it wait. Let it wait. Let it just chill. Wait. Um, nothing really here. Let it come back to the 50 and chill. NVIDIA. Okay. So if you wanted to take the trade here, you know, you could just go small. But again, bounce off the 50. We see all divergence. MACD gave you a fresh set of momentum telling the buyers are starting to go into it. And it's going to go to the previous day's highs. And it did. It went to the previous day's highs. Is it breaking through? 
That's a good question. I think the 2 o'clock hour is going to foretell everything. But uh, roughly, you got 317 to 3, 323, 324. So you got a five-point ripper there. All right, Mercado Libre trying to peek his head. Is Are we coming to the end? Man, my goodness. Can they they just taking this thing down? So how long is it going to go? Let it drop. You know, trying to go, trying to go. Uh, getting there soon. But, again, we need above the 50, and we need this to roll. But not really quite there yet. Not quite there. Apple. Okay, I told you. Apple. I told you this morning we needed to watch 162, right? And, uh, you know, uh, it two pennies shy of 162. So, again, you know, this is why we look at levels. Uh, 162 is pretty hard. If Apple goes, if Apple can go 162, it's probably going to 165 and the XPX would turn around. But right now we have Apple down below 162. Not really selling off, which is good. It's just lingering, you know. So uh, if this can come down, bounce, bounce up to 50, that might be an entry soon. So all going to be dependent upon that 2 p.m. minutes. So watch it from 2 to 2.30 if you're still involved in the market or you're out there getting ready for Thanksgiving dinner. All right. Uh, trade desk. Go. All right, good. That was a trade this morning. If you want to take that trade, uh, 101 held it. You know, I told you there was a reaction sell off, but again, didn't really break that 105. If it, if it would have taken that 105, 106, it would have gone to 108, uh, and then probably this 110. But, uh, you know, trade the levels uh, again that 2 p.m. hour. That's what I'm noticing. Everything's just kind of holding and chilling. Goldman Sachs working his way lower, working his way lower. So, interesting so the banks are down apple is holding right um tesla's up a little bit so we're going to be watching if tesla takes 397 is there going to be a sell-off end of day maybe maybe watch those levels watch those levels okay um uh, okay a firm working his way higher finally this thing is creeping up how far can it go? You know, um, broke these levels here. And again, these are the plays that we like to see. I didn't take this one, but came back down, bounce off the 50, bounce off zero. This is the plays that we like to see. And then you'll get into it. So you probably get into around 128, 120, right there, 128. Nope, you want to get close to the 50, not far away. And then when it breaks the level 129, you'll see that it really get it going. And you can lock in some gaze at 132. So you roughly got four points um uh, on the top it's at 136 so let's see if we can get up there right it's still it's still chugging away upstart same type of thing um you know not quite there like this one but close close and it, it's holding at the highs of 206 so here you have one 197 to 206 you got roughly you know eight points HubSpot, we just got the alert. So this is what I mean, HubSpot. But no real clear play. This is still rallying from yesterday. And is it coming to the end soon? 782, maybe. Let it pull back, bounce, bounce. And that could be a new entry, right? So that could be setting up. Zoom, 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 taking it down. You know, not really doing anything, just holding, right? So watch this one. Not really doing anything. It's just kind of lingering, going sideways. But this is what you want to watch because these, this one doesn't really stay sideways for very long. Okay. Uh, but it can go either way. Okay. Uh, booking still going sideways. And this one I've been going sideways, 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 sideways. No activity. So I got my levels up here. If it starts breaking at 2366, we're going to go long. All right. Service now. They're taking out broke to 50. Uh, we'll see. Not really any play here. Uh, Coinbase basing. This is nice. We like the base. They're, they're being bought at 300. We got that 319. So 319, 300. All right. Um, let's go into the chips. The chips move today. INTU moves. So this is I gave you this morning. Sold off, right? Sold off pretty nicely. Came back down. Uh, Pre-market, we had a nice bounce off of zero. Broke the 50. And this was a play that you, that you couldn't have gotten in, 666 or 665, close to the 50. If it would have taken out that 672, so you roughly had about, what, two, another four, about five points there. And then it went 678. So 
If you're in that trade, congratulations, you did well. Next level up is 694. It looks like it's still kind of working its way up. It's the chip, right? They had good earnings and they just sold off and the rest of the market sold off. But this, I think this is what's holding up the markets as well. Qualcomm, uh, not quite there yet, but it's getting ready, right? It's holding steady, not selling off. That's good. Holding that 177. Watch that 181 is getting close. It's getting real close. All right, uh, pre-market, yeah, 181. Okay, ASML working lower, just trying to base. Not really a trade here, just holding steady. Uh, needs above this 808. All right, 808, 800. AMD took off like a fire bandit. This is a trade this morning. Again, um, right there, bounced off to zero, went a little higher. And uh, right there, a 150, you have 155, uh, you know, 152 was the, was the accelerator, and it probably go to 157. Again, that 2 o'clock hour can change things. So if you missed it, don't worry. Don't worry. There'll be other opportunities. It's going to come back down, hit the 50, and bounce higher. So we'll catch those. Hey, Matt, uh, no trade. Just chilling, lingering, lucid, working his way lower, right? So not really a trade here. Just kind of... You know, broke below the 50, couldn't break that 52, 53 dollars, so no trade, and uh, working his way lower. Okay. Uh, watch 49 on the downside. Rivian, uh, again, wasn't really like, you know, was this another dead cap bounce? Possibly, yeah, it looks like it. Uh, but again, here is a trade that you could have taken to the downside. We set this up in the morning. If it starts hitting the 50, selling off, MACD's bouncing zero to the downside. 118 to 114 and going lower right so you got that 112 on the downside roblex this one they took it up another this was the entry we like to see at the 50-day moving average bounce off a zero and then you got the accelerator here at 121 so this is a trade we took this morning um so working out really well um got a big number up there 141 um, what I did, I rolled up, I locked in some gains, and I'm going to sit this one out and see what happens here. But, you know, so just don't want to risk the chance or risk my gains there. All right, so let's go in there. Uh, what else we got? We got Bitcoin working its way lower, as I told you. Uh, needed to bounce. It just doesn't look good right now. It needs above 60000 Uh Short term doesn't look good. I mean, there are buyers coming in at fifty five. Next level down is going to be that 53. Still working this way lower, okay? Uh, MicroStrategy just follows Bitcoin, right? So just going lower. And uh, Ethereum, holding strong, is fighting for that 50-day, 41.63. Uh, can it bounce? It needs to bounce. It needs to hold. If it doesn't hold, it's going to, it's going to drop. Uh, MACD's are looking at me, it's telling me more weakness, more weakness. It's, 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 it's losing the battle here, so can it go? Uh, that's all we got, guys. All right. This is it. Go get it. Wait for that 2 o'clock hour. Stay green. God bless. And uh, I want to wish you guys a, a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, living gratitude. So grateful for every single one of you guys. Stay out there. Do me a favor. If you're grateful for me, give me that like. Share that. Uh, press that like. Notify. Share this with people at family dinner if they want to learn how to trade or manage your positions. And uh, go out there. Stay green. All right, guys. Go get it. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.